Hey guys, my name is Demon Rebuild, and welcome back to another episode of Far Harbor. I'm really excited to keep playing this game for you guys. Let's just get stuck into it right away. That's one hell of a fog. Wait. I can barely see it. Young gulper. What the hell is a gulper? Oh, okay, that's a gulper. Myler Hunter? There you go. I think that's it. How did it hit me from up here? Oh. What? What do I have to do? Oh, there are more. Hey, what the fuck are you throwing that shit at me for? Bloody hell. Dog meat, you okay? Well done all. Open the gate. Where's dog meat? There you are. He's alright. Damn. Angler. What are these things? It's creepy. Fog doesn't get us. Well, that guy died. Bloody hell. He needs... He had a cooking pot? <laughs> I'll take that. Or yeah, whatever. They always have the weirdest loot. Death claw hide. That's not even a death claw. Okay. Oh, there's more. Damn, he had a toaster. <laughs> Brahmin skull. Alright, so we gotta to talk to Avery again. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. Yeah, All holy shit. The creatures it spits out have taken the whole island for my people. And for your help when we needed it. You deserve this. Wow. We're just raking it in. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live fog thrive you think what attacked the harbor's bad oh there's far worse further inland great 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 you've lost the whole island oh the fog's been here forever there are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal then there are times when it spreads all over and people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog for the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. How are the children of Adam making a fog worse? That doesn't make sense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. 
Sure, people have theories that children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Hmm. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough! That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Okay. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Sounds like you should deal with the children of Adam. Permanently. The mainlander sees the sense in all this. I didn't really I mean to say that. I will do my power to keep the peace here. So go, Alan. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning. He's a bit of an acquired taste. What's so much Longfellow's information? Story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But, uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. Hmm. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Fine. Thanks for that. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. <laughs> and, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help and let me say something you might not hear again thank you huh. no worries avery great you helped us on mariner's hull but we didn't need it this is our island our fight not yours don't you want a helping hand hell no once you start leaning on people soon you can't walk no good on your own what happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. But there's one exception. That is, if you meant what you said to Avery about the children of Adam. Anyone willing to put those bastards down? I'll sell my top shelf ordinance too with a smile. Huh. What's your problem with the children of Adam? We should have gunned those bastards down the moment they set foot here. Instead, we let them in. All in secret from wherever they're holed up. They've been feeding the fog. They're getting it stronger. Strong enough to push us all out of our homesteads. Further and further until it's a wonder we're not all drowned in the ocean. Interesting. Do you have any proof that they've fed the fog? Proof? We wait for that and we might as well pull the trigger ourselves. Look, my daddy's time... The fog was a nuisance, something you avoided. Now every day it gets stronger. It's like the fires of hell out there, because of the children. Okay, so what do you got anyway? You got? you got it. Admiral's friend, huh? Oh, it's a harpoon. Interesting. Radium rifle? Wow, what is this stuff? Oh, it does radiation damage. Chinese officer sword. That's not bad. A nice pistol. Lever action rifle. What sort of ammo is that? 45 to 70. Yeah. Harpoon gun. Sledgehammer. Damn. And a minigun. 
We got a minigun though, I think. I don't know if I have it on me, but... Meat hook. I love all these new weapons. They're so cool. Ported rapid. No, that's that's all. The fish catcher. Why is that so valuable? 40% less AP. Fair enough. Okay. Is that a pip boy? I've heard about those. Yep. It's a pip boy. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner, Shipwreck, Handyman, the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Unless I'm Captain Ed. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Hmm. Alright, I'll help. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. <laughs> okay, but I'll do that, like, later, or if I just happen to be there. Food. Stim packs. Fully stacked. Okay, what do you want? Cassie. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of green, lies, and vengeance. What family are you talking about? I was just about to explain. My family, the Daltons, oh boy. was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Okay, strange lady. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's going to help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. Oh, bloody hell. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. I was a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn, shame that. Okay, so you want me to avenge Petey? Where did you say these ghouls were? National Park Campground. It's pretty much straight west of here. Alright. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. Good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. She's kind of like Mama Murphy, except. Yeah, I don't know. Talks a bit too much. Okay, let's go on the last plank and talk to... I can't remember his name. What was his name? I'm terrible. 
Longfellow. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. You get your hands dirty. <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fell, I couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk right there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone. Live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. Fog condensers, most especially, wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Hmm. What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. I'm not some no-name mainlander. <laughs> Tough enough for your little island. Sling a bit that of was awful. The hull and now you think you're ready to walk in the fog, do you? Things you'll see inland make that look like a Sunday stroll. Mate. Really? Do I look like your average mainlander? Truth be told, no. This goes against my better judgment. I can get you, Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Alright. Anything else I need? Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my lurks out there. Shit. I think I forgot my rockets. Okay. Let's Whatever. Go, Longfellow. Follow me. Hey, alright. Let's go to Arcadia Bay. Is this Life is Strange or Fallout 4? Arcadia is above the fog line on the mountain. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this one. What are you looking at? It tastes foul and sin. But it'll help. My alert jerky. We need to move through the main. Old mountain trail for the river. The right. like nothing you've seen coming. Mainlanders think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> Tracks. Mm, fresh ones. Trappers ahead. When the bullets start flying, find cover. Keep your head down if you want to live. Okay. Good advice. There's one. The fog makes it really hard to see things. So they're like raiders. There's one more. Damn. I really should have brought power armor. I kind of, I didn't want to bring it because it like, I don't really like the HUD. And yeah, I just wanted to like take in all the views and stuff. Look at that, that's beautiful. So I didn't bring it in the end, but I'm going to have to use a lot of right -aways and things like that. Should be alright. Um, I think it's, I think it's nine that I've got. What was that? Oh yeah. Huh? What are you shooting at? <laughs> You're not half bad in the spread. Figured I'd have to take care of a lot of them. Might just make a proper far part. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's just keep going, mate. See You're holding me back. A number on you. Get you all turned around. There's something in your brain. Trappers were mean to begin with. Oh. Ah! 
See him. There you go. Good work, dog meat. I gave him some armor because I thought that would be useful. Also, I think it's important to add that I haven't actually seen dog meat since like five hours into Fallout. <laughs> I've just lost him somewhere and I've never seen him since. Didn't even kill it. I gotta kill them both. You can't do anything, seriously. Why does that have a toothbrush? This looks so beautiful. Wow. I love that blue color. It like matches my HUD as well. It's amazing. <laughs> oh shit. What the fuck was that? Fog, as we steer clear. Holy shit. When I was a young lad, no higher than your knee. Whole island was covered in fog. Fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Okay. So people seem to have a different take on this whole thing. It sort of sounds like climate change. Some people say, like, you know, it's new. Some people say it's happened before. Far out. Young Gulper. Oh, man. Oh, they're sort of fighting each other. They can grow two, three times the size of them. You guys can fight each other, that's cool. I'll just... Yeah. Whoa, what the fuck? Take so long. I'm gonna get this gun out. I like this one. Oh, it's only got nine shots now. Shit. I had so many before. I had like 30 shots. Fuck. There you go. Damn. Let's keep going. That wasn't nice. So what was it, nine? Nope, not nine. <laughs> Don't want to get addicted to that stuff. We should find out what it actually is. Okay, so... Uh, Q equals sign. There you go. I'm too damn sober for damn it. Yeah, ghouls I can deal with. They're nothing. I'm starting to think power armor would have been good. Ah, oh, okay. Stringing one more soul to the damnation, old man. Well, what have we here? Another rad worshiping lunatic. That's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those too? 
<laughs> Who's she? One of them children of Adam preachers. Started off as pests. Now they're more like a menace. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Um... Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Yeah, see you later. A Crazy lady. No far. Katie is not too far now. What's my number seven? Oh, it's this thing. Alright. Or is this it? Oh, nice. Hey, the fog's gone. Oh, man. This is going to be my new favorite place. Whoops. Okay. And, we've and the trees have leaves. He's already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come soon. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. A place to tune up in beer, get some rest, and sleep in front of the Just make sure if you bring in a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Alright. Aw, so I gotta get rid of dog meat. Aw. Um, you should whatever. Use me. I could still use your help. <laughs> Alright. Why the hell not? I like this guy. Alright, see you, dog mate. You're probably not fit for this fight anyway. Bye bye. Weird guy. Everyone here is so weird. In a good kind of way, though. It's like a refreshing kind of funny weird optional help captain avery what does avery need help with oh it's those things all right well we'll do that another time you know when i first climbed this mountain above the fog I thought to myself, now here nice is a place. metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Yeah, sure. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, do you think Kasumi is a sin? Oh, interesting. It doesn't matter. That is the, the politically correct answer. <laughs> Who or what she is isn't important. But it is. It's everything imagine just looking at your own hands and having to wonder was i born with these or were they manufactured none of us take this transition lightly she's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie that someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? <laughs> no. <laughs> I could say yes. No. I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but 
What's the first memory you have? Oh, jeez. I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Okay, thank you. But I'm not a synth. <laughs> I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Oh, Akavia wonderful. is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Oh, bloody hell. Did you need anything else before you go? Um... I'm not in the... Why can't I say I'm with the Minuteman? Come on. What do I have to choose one of these people? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps that is we're in there a long time. Are you feeling alright? I'm fine. Okay, I gotta leave that episode there, but thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you wanna see more of this DLC. I'm gonna be uploading a new video every day until I finish it pretty much. So look forward to that if you wanna see more, and I'll catch you guys here next time. Take care. Oh, okay, I'll try. No.